All right. Peace. We live. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, yeah. Where you go? Peace, 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 peace. Where? Peace to all the Moors out there. Look, he's sleeping. Go fast. Yeah. Peace, peace. Islam, peace. Peace to all the Moors out there. We're going to do a soft core, just a soft... um teaching lesson. All right, just going to do a short teaching lesson. Okay? Islam. Peace. Peace. All right. So, peace to everybody on this Saturday afternoon. Like I said, um, we're going to do a soft teaching lesson. Okay? All right? Just going to speak to all the clear heads out there, all the clear minds out there. Hopefully some people will learn something and hopefully you will share this. All right. Okay. So what's up? All right. So cool. We have some people in here, so we're going to teach. All right. And yes, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. Um, you can feel free to ask questions, but first off, we're just going to speak on this whole right to travel thing. All right. Because Reason I say this is because, and I don't, you know what, I'm, a, I'm just going to keep it all the way real with you. I don't want to expound too much energy on this because I feel like this, that's low level stuff. You know, people want to act like, and the reason I'm saying this is because you have people, and if you're not on Facebook, join the Facebook group, Moors in America, just look it up. We're on YouTube too. But you have people that are in there commenting like, yeah, I'm active, I'm a Moor. And they say, well, the police try to stop me, you know, they try to detain me. And they act like that's what it takes to be a more. That's being active, you know, because you were standing on your square. And it's like, bro, that is petty. That's low level. We need to be growing our own food. We need to be able to distribute it, get it out to the people. We need our own grocery stores and all this, this and that. Right. Right. We need our own hospitals. Right. Right. If you don't agree with the pharmaceutical industry and the whole way that they approach things, but they treat the symptoms. So they're just giving you writing prescriptions. Right. So how come like the insurance industry, they they for the most part won't even cover if you want to get a natural path doctor who doesn't treat symptoms. They try to get your body to heal itself. They won't. So that whole system is it needs to be corrected or we need our own system. So all that stuff's messed up and corrupt, but they're not. Dealing with that, just, I'm standing on my square, you know, and that's that's being more. No, that has nothing to do with it. Exactly. That's your personal thing. That's your personal thing. You're doing that. That's you. That has nothing to do with building a nation. OK. And another thing, listen, right to travel. Right. To, I'm going I'm to get you Cosmic Roster, but. I'm going to go ahead and bring you in just for a minute. But you got you to gotta listen. You can't cut me off, right? Now look. Right to travel and listen. Even you, brother, I'm going to let you come in. But you got to listen. Right to travel. All right, check this out. Everybody's like, peace, Islam. Peace, brother, Everybody's Islam. like, right to travel, right? Oh, that's yeah. in the Constitution, right? Yeah, and mm -hmm. when they wrote the Constitution, I'm not talking to you, but I'm talking to everybody. When they wrote the Constitution in the 70s, they was traveling in cars, right? Or in their conveyance, right? Yes. They had streets and, and highways and all. No, they didn't. It was on that horse. was like 300 years ago, right? So when, but, but that was a provision that was put in there. When, when there's something that comes in the Constitution that didn't fit at the time, you're dealing with stuff that we're dealing with now, like cars and trucks and 18-wheelers and all this. You, it's in there in the 10th Amendment. When you come upon something that the Constitution doesn't address, you go to the amendments. The 10th Amendment tells you, go to the state law. Go to the state Constitution. State Constitution that kills correct. right to travel right there, but ain't nobody talking about that. And the people that are talking about that, you have a few sheiks. And people in the temples that are following the prophet's law. The prophet told us to obey the laws. Right. So they're telling you this and they're getting drowned out. 
because they're speaking with a still small voice. The loud ones, the ones that are out here on social media and doing all this, they right to travel, <laughs> yeah, staying on your square. Man, some of y'all, we gonna have to get up locked up. They actually saying this. They actually <laughs> telling you, some of us gonna have to get locked up for no reason. For no yeah. reason though, it's, it's madness. And so the, the lunatics are running things, or it, it appears that way. But what's really going on, law enforcement sitting back like this, building up the cases. It even got put out there last year that they got this whole um, scheme set up for you, if you're following that foolishness. And they call it the sovereign citizen movement, regardless of what you claim. You Washita, you whatever kind of more you are, you're going on there if you're using that terminology. And then you're standing on falsehood because right to travel, you know, like, listen, I'm in Ohio. We have a lot of um, a lot of uh, Amish out here, right? Right. Okay, they have the right to travel. You know what they traveling on foot? They on horse? They're literally on horse and buggies. We driving through Pennsylvania, and traffic is backed up. Why? Because there's an Amish family up there on horse and buggy. And I'm just being real. I'm not knocking it. I respect it because you know they they live in what they think is right by the Bible, and they're not dealing with you know, cars and all that. I'm not saying we should be doing that, but I'm right. saying that's what that's they do, and that's cool. But they have the right to travel. They don't need a driver's license to be out here driving in a horse and buggy. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can get out the way. It's not even as dangerous as being in a car or a truck. You can really kill people. You know, somebody that we, um, that we know, their house got hit by a car. Somebody had died in a car hit the house, house caught on fire and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous. It just yeah. is. I won't have to tell you that to you because everybody gets it. So it's a completely different, you know, area. And that's how come you refer to the Tenth Amendment and that refers you to the state law, state constitution, which right. is going to tell you, yeah, you need a license, bro. Like the Amish, if they trying to drive an airplane, you can't just come from riding horses and buggies to be like, yo, I can do this airplane. <laughs> Y'all yeah. gonna sit in there and let him do that? He don't need no license. You know what I'm saying? He don't need a pilot's license and all that. It's like, no, we in a different era. So it's like, yes, you need a license. Yeah. And yeah, you have the right to travel and your conveyance and all this stuff, but you need a license because you need to obey the state laws. And then if we're Moors and we're in the temple, we know this already. And we're bound by the law. I'm bound by the divine constitution and bylaws. And I'm proud to admit that. And every Moor should be. And every Moor should be proud Muslim. <clears throat> Excuse me, Moorish American Muslim. They should, they should be proud. That's our government. That's ours. It's ancient. It's divine. So, it so yeah. So let's us. let's uh, clarify this. Not to uh, uh, not to uh, cut you, but um, I I tell Moors this all the time. The United States of America is the United States of Morocco. The eagle is our. Man. You cut now. Oh, oh no. You I'm said saying, it's the United States of Morocco and then you cut out. Oh, that eagle is ours as well. We started this. We are the creditors of the United States of Morocco, a.k.a. the United States of America. We are American citizens. We are citizens of the United States of America. I say this all the time. Yeah, that's true. And some will say that the eagle represents the European side, the pyramid represents ours. You could say that, but that. they're both ours. They're both ours. It's all That's... ancient, you know, Egyptian or whatever you want to say. I it's all horror. ours. Yeah, exactly. And we are citizens. And the prophet came to bring us back under the constitutional fold because going up under this creation that they created specifically to trick us out of, you know, our birthright and who we were to right. enslave us by going along with that. We outside of the constitutional fold and that's how come George Bush called our people um, refugees. You right. know how the president calling our people refugees and they citizens, you know, and so they, they treat that us was, like that. We all. just have these granted privileges, you know, by going up under that. So as Moorish Americans, you know, yeah, we are citizens of the United States of America, you know, yeah. all 50 yeah. states. Yeah. You know, so whatever states. state are, you are in, you're a citizen of that. Which are the yeah. kingdoms of Morocco. Those are the kingdoms of the empire of Morocco. The state, state is just another word for kingdom. Morocco in the non-restrictive sense. 
Yes. You know, you have to be careful with using that too because it's really confusing, especially for people new to this. Because they're going to be like, why Morocco? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, Morocco in the non-restrictive sense, in the ancient sense of the Moroccans that weren't limited just to the present uh, area, the present nation state of Morocco. You right. know, it's more expansive than what we're, um, than what people are understanding. And so even with that, you know, kind of like I agree, but at the same time, try not to really talk about that too much because that might be a little too much information. Maybe not for me and you, but for a lot of people. For the new mm -hmm. people, yeah. Yes. So, you know, I just say like this, our free national name is American. You know, we're, we're American citizens. Yes, you know, our are. national descent is Moorish American. Yes. And I'll just keep it at that. Not telling you what to say, because like, I understand, I'm with you. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just too much for a lot of people. To, you know, but it's like, look, our people simple. are all over the world. You know, the prophet put us over here in North, South, Central America, in the adjoining islands, the Atlantis Islands, since before the continents broke up. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, the the empire was expansive, and it's real, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying, but that don't mean that we not we don't have to abide by the laws. <laughs> you know? I don't even know where all that's coming in. We have a you sense know, of I see why it appeals to people, though. I get it, I understand, but man, rocking like that, you can't. You, it's no way you could be successful. You know what I'm saying, like that. You know what I'm saying. You're not, you're not gonna get nowhere because you're too busy getting your ass kicked. Sorry, yeah, that's yeah. a cuss, but you're too busy getting your ass kicked. And, like, you know I, mean? I do have a um, problem with these guys that are loud out there, and they're pushing folly. They're straight up breaking the law. Like, they're out of law. Like, you can't – I don't I have a problem with it if they're trying to call themselves something else. But if you're trying to call yourself some type of Moorish leader and you're not abiding by our laws and you're purposely misleading people, they're leaving these things out. They want to push right to travel, but they know that you're not aware – of this stuff, how it really works. You don't know about the amendments. You don't really know nothing. And exactly. Know and it's and then we talk about somebody need to smack them. But I'm not saying that because I stand on love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. But I'm saying, man, they going to get cosmic, smacked and him up by, the, by the, the police. I mean, but you know, it's messed up. It's messed you know, up, man. Yeah. Um, somebody, I'm sorry. Somebody just commented. Yes, you need a license. Yes. Like if you're if you're like living like the Amish. And you're driving horse and buggy and stuff like that. No, you don't need a license. You don't. But if they want to start driving cars, yeah, they need a license. Because what if it, that's what the state law says. It's like that for a reason. It's not all against you. Some of that stuff, you know, it just makes sense. It's like, yeah, they need to know how to operate it. They need to keep updating it every now and then. You ever seen someone who was older? Like, I know somebody who was like over 80. And he didn't want to accept the fact that his eyesight was going down. He needed to keep renewing that license and he wasn't going to pass it. So it's like, this dude don't need to be on the road because he can't see. He needs the license, bro. He don't have the right to travel if he can't <laughs> you know, at least keep up with that. Just be hey, real. Like, he, nah, he don't need to be out there. Yeah. We need law and order. We run in society, you know, we need law and order. Right. There's a saying that the prophet would leave the European here long enough to teach us how to run society. Like, exactly. come on, man. We, we not about, you know, disorder. And y'all can't be out here molesting children, selling drugs, just doing whatever you want. You, it's going to be order. You're not going to like it if that's what they're about. Now you, again, we're talking to people who's, who just, don't just understand. General. Yeah. And, you know, we're long see, fingers I, as well. So it's, if they want we got his... many photos, not to cut you, there's 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 many photos of the prophet flying the banner. Granted, it was the 48 star banner mm -hmm. of the Republic, but he flew the banner as well yes. as the Moroccan flag side by side multiple times. There's many pictures of him doing this. So I don't understand how Morris and then and then uh, Morris talk about the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, but that's called a Treaty of Amity and Commerce. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we're about our business, and I don't know. It is. It is kind of. I. I don't. I don't see how it's not clear. Because the problem. I think in some black. ways, because if people are in ignorance, I get it. But some of them aren't. They know better. They just purposely doing it because they're trying to sell stuff. But if you're, if people are in ignorance, like 
you know, for years, like I've been, I could be like, well, I've been studying this for 15 years. I know everything. You can't tell me nothing. But I had to, you know, humble myself and go into the temple and learn. And then I realized that like most of that stuff I learned was trash. And so a lot of people haven't done that. And so like they'll push this stuff because it's just like, I, I throw another thing out there to you. You have people they'll say, because on the nationality card at the bottom, it says, I am a citizen of the U dot S dot A dot. Okay. Right. People will come and they'll, they'll, cause now a lot of things are online, not everything, but a lot of stuff. They'll get an older picture of a nationality card from 1926. And be like, it don't say that at the bottom. See, the agents came and put that in, even though the prophet put that on there in 1928 while he was alive. They'll say, well, that's when the agents came in. They're all off. They're on the outside looking in. What really happened in 1926, this was a civic organization. It wasn't a religious society. Yeah, correct. So it was a civic group, and civic groups can't get involved in government like that. Right. There's a lot of limitations, so we changed it to a religious organization brings a whole bunch of protections to it that can't be touched and puts them in a, in a different, um, in a different um, operating field. And so then it's like, okay, you proclaim your nationality with citizens of the USA, and that's why it changed while he was alive. Exactly. And so that's why I'm saying people will come with half-truths and stuff, and some of them, they're not trying to mislead. They don't know. They're ignorant. And they're not going to humble themselves to learn, you know? Right. So they'll keep pushing that. And then some of that, it's our ego. Like, we feel like we know everything, so we don't want to admit that we might be wrong. And so they'll keep pushing that into the end. And some of these people, they're just going to get left behind, you know. But I'm speaking on it because, like, that 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 rises the more. It's, man, he pushed out some folly. And he, like, it needs to be known in the community. Like, that's an agent. Like, if it was back in the days, look. Like, I read the biography of Asada Shakur. You know who that is? Yeah. Years ago, she was a Black Panther. Yeah. It was people that she knew. They got her family members and stuff to be agents. And being an agent ain't like being an Agent Smith. It's just a regular person who, for whatever reason, maybe they got caught doing something or something. They get you to flip on people. So they get people that look like you to do this. And I'm right. saying, like, that's not legit. For dude to be doing this and claiming he knows this stuff, he pushing right to travel, but you claim to know the law and you pushing right to travel. That means you, you either real, 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 real dumb. You didn't really read it and understand it. And so you don't need to be pushing yourself out here like a leader because you can't even comprehend it. Or you willingly ignoring that because you right. want more people to get locked up because that's your job. Right. It's not all good. Everybody ain't cool. And right. I have no problem admitting that and being real. I don't care if they look like me. I don't care if they wearing a turban or fez. I don't care. Right. If you if you foul, you foul. You can't be out here pushing this stuff. People getting locked up. Since I got this platform, getting emails from people, and it's usually females and they dude is locked up. And it's right. like, why? Because he was trying to go in a house in a wow. nice neighborhood, which is the wrong way to go about doing it. If you're really doing adverse possession, why aren't you in the hood? You let Europeans come in and, and um, gentrify you buy all our property. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You let them come I mean, and gentrify it, and then make all the prices right go now. up. And you I mean, can't even live right there now. no more. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you don't want to go in there and get something that's for real abandoned, like yeah. they didn't gave up on and fix it up. You're trying to go in a place that's already fixed. People already spend their money. You're gonna meet opposition because somebody owns it. Man, I saw the dude like a year or two ago live streaming himself going in somebody's house that was for sale. Right. It's for sale, dude. Right. <laughs> like that's it. Like if I move out of my house and I put it up for sale, you're not gonna just come in there and adverse possess it. I don't care that it's in a nice neighborhood and you thinking you're gonna get it. It's like, nah, bro, you're not doing that. Right. Yeah, they're gonna come and kick you out. Yeah, because you need to be, bro. You can't do that. It's not how it works. It's not successful. Now, if they're like going in, you know, like places like Detroit and stuff, and they're getting these places that are really like, you know, abandoned, but it has potential. You come in, you're fixing it up, turning it into businesses, apartments, houses, right. whatever you're gonna do with it. Cool. But just like, hey, nice neighborhood. Yeah, we deserve that. This all land, like, snob. Nah. 
too much it entitlement. There's, and then there's not even one successful example. Everyone gets kicked out, and then most of them get kicked <laughs> out and locked up. And they keep doing it. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, in all honesty, I shouldn't even be talking about this. You shouldn't be talking about this. We got power moves to make. We're right. supposed to be out here building businesses. That's low level. It's beneath us. You know what I'm saying? Like, this need to be my last time even addressing this stuff because it's, it's beneath us. It ain't getting us our own food, you know, being grown. It's not doing nothing for us. Facts. You know? It's sad that there's a lot of people that's going to get caught up. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. I put this stuff out there as a warning. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's still, I think if people are stuck in their lower self, like what's in the Holy Quran, prepared, divinely prepared by Prophet Noble Drew Ali is real. If people are stuck in their lower self, there ain't nothing you can do. They're not going to heed the warning. They're going to get caught up because all of that stuff is appealing to the lower nature. You know, it's right. like you made a bunch of children out of wedlock. You're trying to get rid of them child support payments. We can get you out of there. You know, you got these cases these gun charges, drug charges, you, your license suspended because you done messed up at the end of the day. Well, right. you don't need a license anyway. Right to travel. That's how it appeals to you, you know? And right. it's sad. It's all appealing to the lower nature. That's what I'm saying. Like, all that stuff, the whole consular stuff, all that stuff they was pushing. You look at the frequently oh, the asked con- questions on it. It's all oh, lower self. Lower self. Say what? The consular court thing. Everything on there was all lower self stuff, man. All of it. I, I don't even. I don't even want to talk about that because that is like. And then yeah, that whole thing blew up with the leader. He stepped down and everything. It was like. They're not I could, reading I this. I seen that coming, bro. They're not reading this. Nah, not at all. <laughs> I keep minds nah. on me. You know what I mean? Like for real. It's to the point now where, like, you know, if somebody start talking that stuff, it's like, ah, see ya. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with you. Right, like peace, brother. I right, bet. I hope you know a lot opens your eyes so that you can see the light, because that has nothing to do with being Moorish, you know. And the USA is the Moorish government. Yeah, and the the true Moors who are about building up their community, you know, being men and women, we need to step up. And start, you know, doing what we have to do. Not saying that we're not, but we have to because, like, that can't be the face of who we are. Right. You know? then, and that's one of the things I would use this for because it's not like the mainstream media is going to cover it. If they do, they'll show that stuff to embarrass us, embarrass us to make us look bad so that law enforcement sees it, you know, to try to slow it down. You right. know? This is what it's all based off of, us not knowing who we are. So if we're getting caught up in this foolishness, that, that gives them another 50 years, you right. know? And so, you know, when you know better, it's like, man, I don't, I don't listen to that stuff. But, you know, if I see it, it's like, nah, man, it's wrong. It needs to get smashed. It needs to get right. smashed. It needs real talk. It needs people, you know, who's real, who can smash it. That dude is standing, anybody, not just that dude. I don't focus on people, but people pushing that. They're standing on a house of cards. You just, just do like this, and that stuff will blow away. So how about this? I got an idea. How about we have a multi live stream of Moors, right? And everybody sit down with paperwork, with official governmental proof, with actual proof. And we it's all right. discuss like civilized Moors, what is going on in our nation and what needs to be done, our perspectives by the law, by like documented no opinions and let's just get it all out there and 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 clear all this up so we can move forward and start being a nation again and stop having to be distracted and get caught up in this and now you kidnapped and you this and you that too much of that is wrong i'm with it somebody said start an ig chat i don't even know how to do that if you could hit me up on the side and let me know how to do that we'll, we'll get that going but like what you said, man, I'm with it. You know, like a panel or something. And, yeah. Um, you know, not even me. We just get somebody who's like really astute to come on and speak. Nah, you should be. You should be in it, man. I, I feel mean, like you, you, you always dropping a great perspective. 
and and you keep an open mind. I I I see that. So yeah, man, be in it. Let's do it, man. Like I want, I want to push forward. I want to be successful. That's it. You know, if you I got the will. failing, 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 uh, uh, you know. So I'm I'm with it, man. I'm with Let's it. Get all cards on the table and just end this crap so we can live peaceful, happy lives. Take care of our families. Take care of our heirs. Fix our nation. Fix our community. Simple. Islam. All it takes is one conversation to end this. Just one. That's, you're right, man. All, everybody just need to bring their goals and, like you said, bring their paperwork, what, what they're standing on, what they're doing, and we'll see what really works. Exactly, because everything in the dark shall come to the light. Islam. Islam. And, and yeah, because, like, this this stuff got to talk. It, we don't need to talk about how stupid that stuff is. You know let's what I'm just, saying? Let's just bring just, the facts and, and, uh -huh. and, and, and let the facts of the matter speak. Islam. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with it, you know. We got bigger things to do, so I'm with it, man. I mean, like, whatever needs to be done, man, hit me up on the side, you know, and we'll see, like, you know, what when we can get this going, because I'm, I'm with it. Islam. Islam. Let's do it. All right, I'm with it, man. Sure. All right. So, man, I, I'll let you know. I mean, like I said, just hit me up on the side, and we'll see what we can do to put that together, all right? right, Will do, my brother. All right, Islam, peace of love. Islam. I'm going to just say a few more things, Islam. All right, so I'm going to just say a few more things, man. I'm glad that brother came in. Peace and love to Cosmic Rasta. That's a great idea because, you know, to be real with you, man, I, I shouldn't even be talking about this, you know? And if you're, you know, successful and prosperous, you shouldn't be talking about that stuff either, right? It should be beneath us, man. And then especially, you know, like, you know, talking about right to travel. Like, come on, man. You don't have bigger and better things to do, really? That's that's what you're standing on? Come on. So, um, you know, I don't want to clown people, you know, but if they're standing on that stuff, you know, it needs to be exposed so that the real meat, the real work, the real foundation that we stand on and what needs to be done can be brought to the forefront, okay? Because I don't like seeing and hearing more the Constitution. Like, you, did you come late to the d discussion? What are you talking about? Right to travel? You think Noble Drew Ali was all about right to travel? Like, look, I'm going to tell you the caliber of people that were in the temple then. You had Jesse Binger. He owned a bank. He owned, he actually had a bank. Asiatic owned bank. He had several properties. Okay, you had shot callers in the temple. Not broke, broke down people who's trying to get over. You had them people in there too. But it wasn't like only appealing to low level people who ain't even trying to do anything. Like the way this stuff's going, if everybody talking that trash, people who are successful, who, who are bringing in resources, they're not going to want to mess with it. Like, come on, man, it'd be a waste of time. But that's not what it's about. And if you were in the temple, you would know that. Like, listen, you, what are you standing on? Right to travel? That's, that's foolish. Like, we talked about this. You got to rewind this back because like the constitution says right to travel. They're talking about people who are walking on foot. They're talking about people who are on horseback. Me and the brother had a conversation. I'm like, look, I'm in Ohio. We see Amish people all the time. We driving through Pennsylvania. There's some Amish people on horseback. They got a horse and buggy and traffic is backed up because of that. And it's like, guess what? They don't need a license. They have the right to travel. They're still traveling like people were traveling in the 1700s. It's a different ball game. When the Constitution, when you come upon something that it doesn't deal with, you refer to the amendments. The amendment, the Tenth Amendment, refers you to the state constitution, state laws. State laws require driver's license. Get out of here with that mess, man. That's garbage. They're not telling you that, though. Whoever pushing that right to travel, they're leaving that out. They're like, man, they don't even know. We can keep pushing this. You know, some of them even sell right to travel ID cards, $50 for some trash, man. Yeah, if you argue that mess, you know, and you sound like you know what you're talking about, you might be able to get some officers to leave you alone. Who wants to take these stupid chances and you're standing on folly, right? You, you crazy if you want some Amish dude who don't even know how to drive a car, who been riding horse and buggy all his life, just get behind a wheel and just start driving. 
You going to feel cool? You want that to be your Uber driver? You don't think he needs to take that test and prove that he can drive that 18-wheeler? Somebody just, some little, uh, girl just got killed by an 18-wheeler. <laughs> like, come on, man. That vehicle, that conveyance is a weapon if you don't know what you're doing. Like, come on, man. You want somebody don't even know what they're doing, just hop behind an a, a airplane and start driving? You're going to be in there? You're going to be cool with that? They don't need to take them tests and prove they, they got that license? Get out of here. Uh, like, how old are you? Come on, think. And then that's wrong. Amendment, Tenth Amendment, refer to the state laws, state constitution. That's trash. You can't stand on that. The Amish can. They're not driving in or, you know, traveling in conveyances. I'm trying to say training and license is two different things. Bro, this is a part of the state laws in each state. It's there for a reason. But if you're arguing that, I'm glad that argument's in here. People can see that's foolish. It's foolish to stand on it. It's like what's really happening is it hits people's ego because maybe somebody they really like taught them that. And so now they at conflict with the truth and with the falsehood, you know, strangely mixed. Can't, they don't know how to deal with it. Like, bro, when something comes and hits you in this reality, you just got to deal with it. You don't keep trying to push the falsehood. It's like, bro, that's not even real. It's canceled out. You got, you riding on horseback, you don't need a license. Okay. You have the right to travel. Everyone does. But when you're in that vehicle, it's a different ball game. All right? Look up the Tenth Amendment. State versus federal, the amendments refer you to the state law. State constitution. Like, what is not to understand about this? This is not difficult. And that's the, still, you you trying to, it's a conveyance. You're using that terminology. The officer's like, okay, we have a possible sovereign citizen terrorist here. Okay? Because it's trash, bro. What are you talking about state law? The Tenth Amendment refers you to the state law. And the state law says you need a license. State constitution, state law. Right to travel is federal. <laughs> what the hell? That's the Constitution, the federal Constitution. And it was written so long ago. The amendment is there to let you know, go to your state law, state constitution, so you know what to do. And so, but once again, if people want to be on that, and it's, that's letting you know, that's like a petty mindset. Because that's your personal thing. You personally, maybe your license is suspended or something. Maybe, you know, and so you... You like trying to figure out a way to do it without paying them fees. And so that appeals to you, you know? Or maybe somebody you really like, they sound smart. And so you you listening to them. And so you ain't trying to listen to this because it contradicts your favorite teachers and stuff. But it's like, who cares? It don't matter. The truth is, you got to deal with it. Like, the truth is, this is stupid for me to be telling people this stuff. Like, for real. Just be honest. Like, outside of the whole Morris paradigm, just being real, it's stupid, man. It's stupid. Like, you should just, should just be common sense, man. And then it's backed up. Like, you, you actually look and realize that that's in folly, man. It is in total folly. Right? I'm going to go and say what's up to, to this person. Oh, what's up? Who are you? Why, why are you? why are you trying to request to be in here? You sing? What's up? You got something to say? And you're right, though. You're not supposed to be in in court. You're not supposed to be in squatting in nobody's house or any of that stuff. That's that's foolishness, right? It is. And and being out here arguing right to travel is foolish, you know. Especially when it's squashed, bro. Look at the Tenth Amendment. See what it says. All right. <laughs> that stuff is outdated. You're not walking on foot, bro. You're not on horseback. It don't work. All right.
Yeah. And so, like, I get that, you know, I guess one in the buck against that. You know, that's even that's even the American way, you know, being a maverick, being a rebel. I get that. But some of this stuff is just here, like, for a reason, bro. Right? It's, it's here for a reason. It makes sense. And so anybody trying to fight against that sounds crazy. Right? Like, this person. You sound crazy as hell. I wish you could come on here on live with me because I would squash all that. Like, you sound crazy. Anyone trying to stand on that, it's just, it's craziness. It's craziness. All right? You know? And then you just got in an abandoned car without any risk. Good for you. That's cool. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to belittle it or nothing. You know, cool for you. You know, and then the person talking about passive. What's passive? Because I ain't trying to be squabbling over right to travel. You know, passive. Because I'm actually out here in real life building with my moors, with a temple where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Building. We working to make businesses and all this stuff. Like doing real life stuff. That's passive, though. But arguing online and being about right to travel and all this other quasi sovereign citizen um, redemption manual stuff, that's like, nah, man. Nah. That's crazy. Man, like people like that in real life, I, I can't mess with them because that's, that's whack. You know? Like, where do you live? Do you live like in a place with a bunch of roaches and stuff like that? Like, how are you living? You can't be living good because you squabbling. You got a petty mindset. Anybody who's defending this stuff, it's not just you. There's plenty of people out here that's on that stupid, ignorant stuff. Ignorance means that you don't know any better. Some of y'all know better, you know? And that's scared because y'all don't want to take on the real responsibility. The real thing, the fact that we need to grow our own food, the fact that we can't, you know, just depend on these Europeans, that's scary to y'all. And you don't want to tackle that. You don't think you can have your own banks. You don't think you can run your own city. You don't think you can do these things. You know it takes real work. And so y'all want to just, man, I don't need a license. I don't need that. I'm going to go to court and fight these charges. That's what y'all think is handling, is building a nation, right? Y'all ain't trying to do that stuff. You ain't trying to do it. You know, and that's passive. And then you got the nerve to try to flip it when you know what I said is real and you know that you don't think you up to the challenge. You don't have confidence in yourself. You don't think it can be done. You think lowly of yourself. You're not really descended from the creators of civilization. Because if you were, you'd be up to the challenge. You, I'm going to fight this license. I don't need a license. You're going to pick the smallest thing on the list. That's just like a bully. He whack his he whack and he just go and pick the smallest person on the schoolyard like huh, yeah I want that dude with the uh with the twisted leg yeah that that little dude right now the the one that's the littlest dude out here the girl I want her I want her that's what you picking I'm gonna go after this right to travel yeah no nah, we don't need we don't need our own neighborhoods we don't need our own city councils and all this we don't we don't need no hospitals we don't need none of that. I mean, we need that right to travel, though. Like, come on, man. That sounds crazy. It sounds ignorant, but that's where you're at. And that's why I'm like, if you're standing on that, then you got to be dodging roaches. You got to be like this in the house, stepping on roaches. You got to be living in squalor because you got like a petty squalor mindset. And it's not any one person in here ain't picking on nobody. It's anyone that's thinking like that. You got to be. You're not even trying to rise up to the challenge. You know, that's, I can't relate. You know what I'm saying? Because the energy and stuff that's in me is real. Like the ancestors, they built the pyramids and all this stuff. That's really in me. I don't, I don't feel like we can't run the world. You know? Y'all thinking small. Man, what's the smallest thing on this list? Right to travel. That's what I want. We don't need our own economic system. We don't need none of that. You know? And so that's where you're at. That's where you're at. You can type anything online. And that's what a lot of a lot of y'all, that's all a lot of these people who are talking the biggest trash online, that's all they are. They're not moors out here in real life. You know what I'm saying? They're not out here actually with their title, building with real moors in real life, working for real. They just online with it. And some things it's just it is what it is. But let's just be real about it. I'm going to be real. I'm not going to respect that. All that stuff gets smashed, you know, because you're not doing nothing in real life. 
Y'all not building nothing for the children. Y'all not building communities. Y'all not doing nothing. And then when I say y'all, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm just talking about the people that's on this pettiness. You know, y'all want to fight your little personal battles and act like you're doing something. All right? So that's the most passive thing in the world. It's whack. It's passive. It's weak. The person asks, how do you establish your nationality? Look, I'm going to read the divine constitution to you because a lot of people don't know this. Some of y'all don't care. A lot of y'all don't know. Hang on. So yeah, um, I'm going to read the divine constitution, but like I said, some of y'all just don't care. The person asks, how do you establish your nationality? You have to join the Moorish Science Temple of America. Okay? All right. Act 6. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are part and partial of the said government and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there. There's more. You have to join. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and partial of the uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name faithful. So if you're about fighting your little, maybe your license is suspended, so you right to travel, right to travel. You're not attending to the duties of uplifting our nation. You're not a part of this and you're not putting in work. You know, you're not doing the stuff that we really need in the community because you're fighting your little personal battles. You're not a more, bro. You're just somebody to know about it. Or you're just online t saying you're more. Okay? You're not doing anything. You're not really putting in any work. You're doing your little personal stuff. Okay? And some people, like that hit dog, when you throw a rock at a pack of dogs, you can tell who got hit because they yelping loud as this. That's what some of y'all are. You letting it be known that this, this affects you, I guess, because it fits. You're selfish. You're all about fighting your little personal battle and then want to act like you're building, so you're not building anything for us. You're not ending generational poverty and things like this, right? And so that's all it is. And then some of this stuff, you got to think, like some of these things are really bots. Like they're not even people, you know, or they, they're even European, and they just come in here doing it because they want to keep promoting that whole little trap. It's a trap for you, okay? But, um... Act 5, this organization of the Moral Science Temple of America is not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of this said government, but to obey their hereby. So a lot of people ain't trying to hear that stuff. And that's the problem. That's the problem. And the people that are scared and lazy, these are the ones who want to fight their little personal battles because they messed up in life. They got their license suspended because they not paying child support or because they doing something stupid. And so now they all about right to travel. It's not because they really fighting against this. Uh, they want to uphold the Constitution because if they did, they know the Tenth Amendment is in there and it tells you to refer to the local state laws, state Constitution, and they know, okay, need a license. Right? So they don't care about that. They fighting their little personal demons, you know? And that's whack. That's whack. That's your personal demons. You lazy. You whack because you don't want to get out here and build. You're not trying to build up businesses because you're looking around, you're like, man, it's too much work. I ain't trying to do none of that. You're not trying to build our own schools where we can teach this to our children because you're like, man, that's too much work. You don't want our own hospitals, our own healthcare system, so we're not just writing prescriptions and drugs. Man, that's too much work. You don't want to be able to be able to police your own communities and stuff because you're still trying to sell drugs and do stuff that you ain't supposed to be doing. You don't want to uphold the law. Because you don't even want to live by the law. You know? And that's the truth. That's why it's like, man, it, man, like in real life, I will say this. This ain't just online for me. Yep, for most of y'all, for 90%, this is just some online game for you. I'm out here living it. I deal with real people and real mores in real life. And if they're on that trash, I got to tell them to their face. Okay? So for y'all, this is online. You can get on here and talk tough and say stuff and it don't affect me at all because it's like you're online. But I would tell you this to your face, and I have to in real life because I'm actually building in real life with real moors in my community. 
How many of you can say that? That's how it really goes. This ain't just some online, whoa, we fighting them, we doing this. Nah, man, in real life, that's what you got to do. So if you're not building in real life, you're not doing it. All right? And so, you know, and um, if you have, like, if you're successful, you got your family and all that intact and you, you know, doing your thing, you know, messing around with that um, redemption manual stuff, <laughs> it's going to ruin your life. It really is. It's trash. All right. And um, we know there's a difference between legal and lawful. All right. Not really going to get into that. But look, the thing is this. All right. I mean, if you're not abiding by the divine constitution and bylaws, there's a problem if you're claiming to be Moorish. So you should go and learn about it. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to deliver this in love, man. Um, check out the temple. At least learn. Learn what it's really about and then compare it to all this other stuff that's floating around, you know? And do some real research, you know? With people saying, enforce the Constitution and all that. Read the whole entire quote because the dude saying that, it's like, you didn't read, did you read the whole divine warning? You know, where that came from? Did you? Because there's a lot more in there. All right. All right. There's a lot that you, you know, that you're not mentioning. So you get, you can't just take stuff out of context. Okay. And, um, you know, I'm not saying that all temples are doing what they're supposed to. All right. For the most part, they're empty. You know, it fell apart for, for a reason, you know, came under the attack because it's the only real thing that we have, you know? And so like, if something's not good enough, if you just lay down and go to sleep and say, well, I ain't messing with them no more, I get it. Because a lot of people, you know, when they confronted with, you know, with, um, you know, with contention or when you have things that you have to overcome, a lot of people's things like back away to leave it alone. I'm not knocking it, you know, but I see it as a challenge. Like, man, look, this is real. I'm not going to like act like we don't need to use it no more. It's still real, so you got to get in there and fix it. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not up for it, I feel you. But ain't, it's not like somebody else is going to come and fix it if you don't. What if you the one that need to fix it? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're saying the temple's messed up or whatever. You're not going to get in there and put in work? Correct the things that you say are wrong or that is off on? Okay. Because like, it's not like you can look to somebody else to come and save you. That's not how it works. Okay? And, um, you know, I just, I hope, too, better for our people. Like, I hope that most of us aren't caught up in this low-level stuff. Because, like, that's, like, you know, like, I hope, man, we have some people out here who's successful, who's, like, hustlers, who's not, like, caught up in this. Because, you know, we, we have to do better, man. We really do. But... If you go in and you learn what the prophet brought, you wouldn't even be caught up in any of that because you know it's trash. You know it. And that's why I advise everybody to at least check it out for yourself. Um, if you call yourself a more and you don't have a copy of the divine constitution and bylaws, I said it's a problem because, like, you need to know what we stand on. You need to know that because, like, you wouldn't even know that you were more if Prophet Noble Drew Ali didn't come and start to teach us that. And he didn't just teach us because we got a lot of teachers out here that's teaching and talking and, and lecturing and doing stuff. But he actually established a society for us where we can come, we can proclaim our nationality, we can work together, we can build up our society, protected, unmolested. No one else did that. No one else even knew it was an issue. OK, like um, the forerunner to the prophet Marcus Mosiah Garvey, the UNINA is the United Negro Improvement Association. You know, it's much love to him, it's not knocking him or anyone. No, none of us knew. Only the prophet knew. And he didn't just know he did something about it. They had businesses. They had manufacturing companies. They had a grocery store, you know, and he did this stuff in like just a few years. OK, as an example, like this is why in the Quran it has like the missing years of Jesus. His life was an example. The prophet's life was an example. He set it up and he showed us how quickly that success came. Just in like three years, boom, we got businesses, we got congressmen and all these people coming to us. 
it was an example of success. It wasn't like, hmm, we fight that right to travel. Like, that's squabbling, man. We're supposed to be making big boy moves, man. Didn't, didn't none of y'all listen to rap? Are y'all a bunch of old, funky? <laughs> Are I mean, like, what? None of y'all grew up in this area? Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you're not a boss. You're not, you're not bossing up. You're not trying to run things. You're not trying to be successful. Like, come on, man. What, what did all this passive, crazy, I'm going to just squabble and I'm cool with getting crumbs like a little rat and just squabbling? Like, come on, man. Since when was that cool? You know, I see you bucking the system and all that, but, man, we're supposed to be running things. You know? We're supposed to have a different mentality. And you shouldn't be scared or turned off by the work that needs to be put in. Okay? And so that's why I say, like, if you don't have the divine constitution and bylaws, you need to get it. You need to read it. You need to find out what the prophet really brought. Stop listening to your favorite speaker. Okay? Because, like, all these thoughts aren't ours if we're pushing that. Because even the people who's pushing it, it came from the redemption manuals. And if you don't know what that is, then you really lost in the sauce. You understand? You really lost out here if you don't even know that anyone pushing that stuff is coming from the redemption manuals, which was being propagated by Europeans who was trying to buck against the system. And they were just mad, you know what I'm saying? For their own reasons, okay? Most of them were white supremacists, okay? Has nothing to do with you. It's not your fight. A lot of them got locked up and a lot of them started leaving that stuff behind. It's trash. It's trash. All right. So, um, you know, if you're not a boss and it's just not in you, somebody going to put you to work. Somebody's going to put you to work. Okay. You're going to work for somebody and that's it. Cause you don't have it in you to be a boss and that's the reality of things. All right. So boss up. All right. You don't boss up. You're going to be getting put to work and that's how it is. Right. We're going to have law and order regardless. All right. We stand on the law. We're not about lawlessness. You can't just be out here doing whatever you want. You don't want to be in an Islamic society, okay? Because you can't be out here just doing any foolishness, all right? It's not going to stand. You don't, want, you don't want the Moors to be in control. You want lawlessness. You want craziness, you know? You don't want to have to be a man or a woman and boss up, all right? And that's at the bottom, the bottom line. That's what it's about. The people that's still stuck in that paradigm, man, all right? And that's... It's really mind manipulation, mind control. They know they can appeal to people who feel defeated. You don't have enough confidence to think that you can actually run society, that you can change things, the downtrodden. They, they know that people, there's a bunch of people that's broken. They're broken. And so this, these little things from that redemption manual, that will appeal to them. All right? But it's all trash. They're telling you, you authenticate your birth certificate you get the money off of it even though there's no one who got the money none of them right then y'all act like we don't need dollars we don't need none of it. but you're trying to get money you're still using money every day and you're trying to get money off your there's so many contradictions it's foolishness leave it all alone if you're smart all right and if you're a boss you need to get out here you need to uh build with the moors in your area if there is no temple you need to make one. You need to hook up with the temple and make one so that you can get with other Moors who are about law and order, who's going to stand on this, who's going to enforce it, okay? Who's, who's going to be building and pro prosperous, not squabbling. The ones that are squabbling, they get left behind. Forget all them, right? All right? And it's like I said, I'll say this to people in real, because I have to, I'm not an internet more. I'm out here in real life, so I have to talk to real people, and I'll let them know, yo, that's trash. I'm not messing with you. Go on somewhere with that. That's trash. Go do it. You know? I can't tell no grown person what to do. Go do it. Be, I hope you're successful, but it ain't going to work. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> I'm about building. I'm about business. You know? I want a better life and future 
you know, for my family. It doesn't matter if you're living good because as a collective, it's still not good enough. So I'm about doing something about that. And if you're not about that, you need to go on somewhere. And on that note, I'm going to end it, okay? And um, if you feel this message, though, share it, share it. Get it out there, right? Because this, this is a good dialogue. And, um, you know, the trash needs to get left behind, man. It's, it's whack. It's played out. It's lame, all right? Stop acting like you're doing something and building when you're just dealing with your little personal demons, okay? On that note, we out. Peace. Peace and love.